Ever since quarantine, I've been wanting to watch this Disney Channel show called Star vs. the Forces of Evil. I never really got to it for some reason, but there was two reasons why I really wanted to watch it. One, Disney Channel show, Gravity Falls, Owl House, Amphibia, etc. All some of my favorite cartoons ever. Reason two, the magical girl aspect. If you've been on this channel for more than one second, you would know that I love, love, love anime, especially magical girl anime. I was so excited to hear that this show's main inspiration was Sailor Moon, and I found so many Sailor Moon references in this show. I can make an entire video about it, but I won't. Anyway, this March, I finally sat down and watched every single episode except one of this show. <sighs> Wow. Star being the main character actually wasn't that bad. We're starting off on a good note here. She's not like the best, but she's okay. I really like her arc. I like how she went from this happy, positive girl to this more serious and like Marco's. I don't know what to say about Marco. I don't like him, but I think it'd be a stretch if I said I don't. I dislike him. I feel like he was the Robin of the show. Just got constantly tortured so much. Glosseric! <sighs> Glosseric has to be the worst fictional character of all time. Just looking at him makes me so agitated i can not with him first of all he is so ugly his head looks like a breadstick with a like a blue breadstick with like a ring pop shoved into it i don't know if you guys can tell yet but i don't like glosseric and i haven't even started on his actual character he's like i don't even he was just he was supposed to help out star that just got so annoying throughout the entire series don't eat he died in season two, but then came back to life in season three for I don't even know why. Like, if you're gonna make use useless characters agitate me a lot, but I'm okay with a useless character if the useless character is a enjoyable character. You cannot, one, make a character that's useless, but on top of that, a useless character that is really bad. I can't even, oh my, <sighs> go to a more positive note. Eclipse that actually is by far my favorite thing about this show. I love her so much. I love her classiness and how when she was first introduced, they made her they made us guess whether she was like a good guy or a bad guy. And I think she is just Eclipsa is amazing. You know that stayed in my intro. That's actually because of Eclipsa. I don't want to consider Eclipsa part of my top 10 favorite fictional characters. She might be in the top 20 though. There are a lot more characters I can talk about, but this video is already 3 minutes long and I don't like to make my videos too long. So how about this? I'll make YouTube shorts about those other characters some other time. But for now, moving on to the next section. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I love lore-driven shows. And this was a lore-driven show, but the lore was just not good. I don't know if the writing was bad or the execution was bad, but something was going on. I can make sense of a lot of complicated stories, so the fact that after the finale, I was still left with so many questions is definitely not a good sign. It would also, like, something that bothered me, it, like, introduce this thing that is, like, it looks like it'd become important. Just some random foreshadowing. Five episodes later, oh no, the world's gonna end because of this thing. It just, I don't like it, okay? On top of that god-awful writing, we had god-awful romance. Where do I even start on how bad this was? So first of all, it took so long. It was like to the end of season one to the third of last episode of season four. It would usually, usually for romance, we have at least a season to see where their relationship goes. But none of that, none of that was in the show. Second, why was it so complicated? It should have just been Star likes Marco, Marco likes Star, and over time they start to tell each other. Then we have a season focusing on their relationship. No! Uh-uh! Uh-uh! Marco had like two girlfriends, Star had one boyfriend until they started dating. And it was so complicated, nothing was aligned, it was driving me crazy. Third of all, the show would completely forget it had a plot to focus on this romance that wasn't even good. Nobody watching this show wants romance, they want a plot. 
All right, I think that's enough ranting for now. I was gonna talk about the finale, but I think we already know what's wrong with that. So I'm gonna end the video here. Conclusion of the video, don't watch Star. If you want a Disney Channel show with romance and plot, go watch Owl House. Owl House is my happy place.